Did you get the chance to play the Overwatch bit later? Well, if you didn't, here's my little quick overview. You can't win against the Overwatch is Blizzard's entry into the FPS race. With the typical Blizzard overall the polish, the game runs smoothly and looks great. Despite that, you can't shake the Team Fortress feeling while you're playing. So before playing the beta, I was of the mind that it was just going to be an attempt to battle the MOBA scene. So I wasn't putting too much stock into Overwatch. After putting 22 hours into the open beta though, I can say for the most part, all the characters and yes, even Bastion are pretty well balanced. Some have obvious strengths and weaknesses and others are down to the way that you play them. For example, a Bastion can pretty much wipe out a um, team, including everyone's defense favorite, Reinhardt. But if you play as Genji, just the right way, you have no issues with Bastion whatsoever. So what's wrong with Overwatch? I have to mention the price. Bear in mind, people from Australia and New Zealand pay upwards of $80 just to play the um, standard game. I think both sides are uh, only retailing the Origins as well as the Collector's Edition. But that's not the main problem with the pricing. Looking at the unlock system, it's very reminiscent of a free-to-play game where you can buy skins, sprays, and voice lines, and all that just gimmicky shit. There is a small selection of maps, and they aren't all that big. My team needs me. As well as the game modes being rather sparse. It feels like the main idea for Overwatch was to make it free to play, but someone decided well, it would be better to charge full price for a multiplayer game rather than giving a game, especially where you can play single player and get to know each of the characters. I will not fail again. Content is rather limited when you look at the game overall. There are three maps for each game type, so you have Assault, Escort, Hybrid and Control Map. That's a total of 12 maps, not counting the practice range, which who would count that, right? There's also 21 heroes to choose from, with varying levels of difficulty. Ignoring the amount of maps, the free-to-play MOBA, which I won't, um, I kind of won't give the name yet. for because we, it's not about that, is released with 40 playable characters. So you push the price and the low amount of content together, and it's not necessarily worth it. So what's so good about Overwatch? It plays nice and is rather smooth. Even networking wise, I'm sure I was playing with 200 plus ping for the majority of the time, but I didn't feel the sting of being at the disadvantage. Now and then a rogue player would zip across the map, but it was rather infrequent. Overwatch looks great, both world-wise and character-wise, it's your typical blizzard look. The skill effects can get in the way of a good shot, but it's not that bad. The HUD is a godsend, with very little clutter, which is nice to see from a company responsible for World of Warcraft. I can see Overwatch taking off in some sort of league play. It seems like games are heading more and more in that direction over including a decent story. Overwatch has the ability to suck you in and make you want to play the game when it's taken away, which is something that I've um, personally found, especially after playing the beta. I had about a day 
where I was like, yeah, I don't want to play that anymore. But I'm now wanting to get back in there, especially with my friends. On that, it's a great game to play with friends, sparking team play and also generally just fucking around with each other. I would both recommend and not recommend Overwatch. It's one of those tricky ones to call. Thanks for watching the video and please like, comment and subscribe.